yeah, some people would um, describe the way you live, what you are as a fantasist. You, uh, you know, you live in your own world of fantasy. Um, do you think that's fair? What, what would you say to people? I'm a fantasist. I've shown you the evidence. You can't believe that, you know. Fantasists are, well, they're crazy, you know. They're people who, like, say, you know, oh, yeah, of course I know Tom Cruise, you know. I went to dinner with him last night, you know. But you live in Wolverhampton, yeah. I'm here, I'm in the hotbed of the wizarding world. We know Hogwarts is somewhere in the Wiltshire countryside. I don't just live in a caravan here because, like, I've got nowhere else to go. I've got nowhere else to go, but I wouldn't go anywhere else, so... Yeah, yeah, I lived um, in the old pad for three years, something like that. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty nice. It's a 23-foot best car cameo. Um, one previous owner, old couple, old couple. Managed to pick this bad boy up for just seven G's. Um, which was most of my redundancy money, actually. Um, in there, I keep toilet roll, and that's my apple cupboard. I don't know if you've ever seen an apple cupboard before. Um, no, I've never seen one of those before. Okay, well, you know, that's... Um, I sleep there. Uh, that's just, you know, it's basic, but... It's all I need. Um, but you know, just because just because I'm interested in fine Hogwarts doesn't mean I'm not interested in the ladies. That's why I've got myself a little uh, drinks cabinet up here. You know, that's a little something. That's something. Um, little vanity mirror I hide in there just so I can quickly check. Yep, scar looks good. And then continue with the evening's digestions. Hi. I'm Alan Fifield, and I'm on a quest to find Hogwarts. Boom, 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 boom. Hi, my name's Hugo Boss, and I'm a lumberjack for the local area. Um, and not, well, you know, my job, my role, not my job really, my, my duty is to protect these woods from wolves who dress up as old women. So what motivated you to, uh, to do this? Well, like, you know, most people, I've read the books, I've heard the stories, and then just one day, I'd had enough. I thought, how can we let this injustice go on? Um, and I had to do something. You know, I couldn't sit back and, with, and just let little girls get killed by wolves anymore. Now what you may have noticed here is a wolf hole. Now a lot, a lot of people know that the wolf is um, a ground burrowing animal. It will dig its nest and sort of just feel it around a bit and then when it's found a suitable place lay down and just give birth to its eggs did you hear that uh, no quick high ground <coughs> Right, it's clear. Okay, oh, you really need to react quicker. <clears throat> you like that? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat>
Whew, that adrenaline gets going, you know. It's hard to stop. But, you know, let me tell you now, that was a, uh, that was a wolf. <sighs> you know, those eggs that have no mama to go crying home to. Um, so, what's your name, and what do you, what are you actually here for? I'm uh, Kurt Muscle. I've uh, been effectively looking for the Stargate now since 1994. No luck as of yet, but you've got to keep trying, haven't you? What makes you think it's here? It's got to be somewhere. I mean, I've tried at least three other places, and nothing's escalated all time up. So. What would you say to people who say that actually it doesn't exist, it's a fictional sort of TV show and... Uh, skeptics, yeah I deal with skeptics a lot in my day to day life. I come across them three, four times a day, but I'll be the one that's laughing when I've mastered space travel. Um, so how long have you sort of known Kurt? Uh, about two years, met him on the internet. He seemed like quite a nice guy, but yeah. And do you believe in Stargate? Alright. So why are you with Kurt then? Because he buys me nice things. Do 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 do